What's up guys, quick update on Bitcoin. I think it's pretty important to do daily updates right now guys to stay on top of everything. I updated my Elliott Wave account on the one hourly guys because you know we had a squeeze release and this is happening on high volatility. So at times like these in my opinion we start looking at like one hour time frame to kind of count this impulse wave up. Otherwise I never, I pretty much never look at one hour but um Here's my count guys. I'm just going to show you guys my A scenario since, you know, we do pretty much daily updates. I think it's just a waste of time to show other scenarios. You just show your A scenario and at any day, you know, if your A scenario changes, then you update your A scenario. But right now, this is pretty much my A scenario. I do think we're going to bounce. And before I share this Elliott wave count, you know, since this wave right here, this wave two here, was a sharp guys we are most likely going to see a flat which this looks like a flat right so this would actually be like a wxy flat correction which you know in my opinion i think this is pretty much at a bottom point guys it might get to this 3a2 at 62.5k but i think it's pretty close to bottoming out we're gonna have our next leg up you know i'm just i'm just assuming right now that this is a one two three four and we have one more leg up but this could also be a uh one two one two and then we have something like this and then we have one more leg up like that guys to 70 72k target but you know i'm just assuming that this this one wave right here is already in right i think it's always best to just assume that your mid uh wave is like in early right instead of assuming that this is a one two three four and we have something like that and then we do like one more leg up like that guys I, I you know i'm just assuming that this is like this and we have one more leg up like that guys so this is my Elliott wave count i want to share this off the bat so this would be a one two sharp wave two right and then you have your internal one two three four that's your third finish right there very very nice count here guys and then a sharp a flat a b c or w x y opposite of this alternating right and then we go up and i want to point out guys that there is a futures gap here that we haven't picked up yet it's very interesting that we just you know we always pretty much always pick up these gaps guys I think it's like 90, 95% of the time these gaps for the CME futures gaps are closed. I think it's still a possibility that if we do go up to like 70K guys, that this could go back down to pick up this gap. Because if you were to draw the low to high 618 from this point, 53, 54-ish K, to let's say the top right now is 70K, right? And you just look at the 618. The 618 is pretty much stacked, guys, right at this CME futures gap. Right, so if this is a large degree wave one finish, right? Then we would be looking for, you know, like an A, B, C down to pick up the CME futures gap, which is a, it's a possibility, guys. So this is going to take its time to finish. Our target right now is 70K. I do think we're going up soon, guys. So this is still the play right now that we are going up 70K. I'm not going to show you guys like, everything right now because i in the previous videos have been long so we want to keep these kind of short but i think what we can do is show that the the etf net flows is in an uptrend guys it broke from this downtrend and it's an uptrend as you can see here if you look at this different angle here that i like to show because this chart looks pretty good is that you know we were you know these two times let's just start from this point right when we were in a downtrend on the etf fund flows the price pretty much went down we broke out of that downtrend and we entered an uptrend and then the price, the orange line went up. You know, we were in a downtrend right here and then we broke out of that downtrend and then we started going up. So now we are in an uptrend and we are pretty much back testing this bottom trend line, guys. So it is, it is looking like until this bottom trend line breaks, guys, we are probably going to have more room up. So still expect some positive ETF fund flows to come in as this thing has one more leg up. A lot of things are just lining up for this scenario that I just posted, guys. Um, if you look at the liquidity heat map, there's still a lot of liquidity up to 70K that I think in this momentum we are gonna go and pick up. As you can see here, 60, this is, ends at about 68K, but I do think we're gonna probably tax 70K, guys, short term, before we get a correction. Um, this is Bitcoin, Bitcoin dominance here. 
and then Dogecoin, guys. I, I think that this is on the weekly. I think that the next leg up as the Squeeze Titans, if we go to 100K, I do think the Bitcoin dominance should be falling. Um, and the top for Dogecoin is usually a little bit after Bitcoin tops out, right? Or even like other altcoins like Ethereum. So you want to stagger a little bit. Maybe by December, Dogecoin and other altcoins are topped out. Bitcoin might top out in November, guys, or October. I think that's what's going to happen. Here's a Ethereum on the top. Bitcoin count at the bottom on the weekly, guys, right? The Ethereum looks like a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bitcoin has like a 1, 2, 3, 4 up like this. So it kind of co-aligns, right? Um, we expect uh, as Bitcoin tops out here at maybe 100K, that Ethereum is going to take a little bit longer to top out. I think my target right now is 6K for Ethereum before we get this wave forward dip, which I think could be about six months long or two quarters length, right? And then we should go up for 200K Bitcoin. Um, because if you look at like, um, let's just zoom in on this. Let's actually, let's go look at the weekly real quick in a second, um, right? So if you look at the weekly here, if you look at these extensions, right? Right now I have this up as AB, but let's just assume that this is a, a, a one, a one, two, three, four, five like this, right? So one, two, and we're going up for a three, four, five. That's kind of what I think right now, right? So it, if this goes up to like 200K, if you look at the extensions here, if this is your top, right? The, the, the wave three here is probably gonna tag close to the two, six, uh, or two between the two and the two, six, five, right? So if we assume that uh, the wave right here if we you know sometime in March or April that we go down to back test the 70k area now as as uh, as uh, support right like right there you know it's looking like yeah our target would be between the 161a and the two extensions for this wave 5 right we, in which case both wave 3 and wave 5 would both be extended right this is pretty much my macro count guys in which I think is 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 happening right here it would be which would be a one two three four and then we get our five two hundred k guys. So this is currently my A scenario until things change on the large time frames. Uh, if we go down, I guess we could look at like lower time frames real quick. So three day three day is kind of interesting, guys. It back tested a lot of resistance on the RSI here. But this does look like an accumulation pattern, guys. So. As this thing tops out right here and does something like this, which I think could be like that, you know, this, th these, these are lining up for us to have a big break, guys, going up, right? Sometime starting in August. It's kind of what everything is lining up. You know, that's currently our A scenario until things change. Um, if you look at the daily, we are back testing major support right now. So, but I think the eight hour shows this pretty good, which I, I have this as like a line thing up. If you look at this as a, as a line on the mid time frame, you know, it does look like we're still looking for a medium degree third finish. But even though I don't have that updated, I just have this as a one, two, three, four, and we're going up for a five, right? Just, just to be like safe. I don't like, I don't like ever assuming most of the time, guys, that based on my experience that we're still looking for a mid degree third because that's when a lot of times the market just rug pulls guys and we never get like our fifth, right? So we just do something like that and just keep falling. So that's why I always assume that we are just looking for a high degree fifth finish here, guys. Um, especially if it happens on high volume. So I have this right now completed as a mid degree third like this. And I do think we're going up for a fifth here, guys, um, where things are just kind of lining up. If you can see, we're at massive, massive support. There's a POC here stacked uh, moving averages and also back testing this moving average right there so i think that we're probably at like some low to high 618s as well guys yeah we're kind of stacked at low to high 618s as well All right, we just leave this up actually because we just stay on the eight hour on this chart so we are back testing as you can see a lot of support right now guys the LEA wave count lots of other data are showing me that we do have one leg up so i do think there is one more leg up like that guys for this wave five or at least till at least till like 68k right especially because all that liquidity is there since we're in an upwards momentum so this is just uh, another angle here guys um you know let's go look at some metrics real quick um 
You can see this is really bullish, guys. When this purple line goes up, that means the market is getting overheated. The top of range, we fell from 70K. You know, we were kind of accumulating here. This was a lot of strength, right? As price was accumulating going up as this thing went up. And then as soon as this thing started dropping and it's one, once again dropping, the the price, this is a very bullish indicator in my opinion. I do think we have one more leg up right there. Uh, the RSI is straight, straight going to overbought, but I do think there's one more leg up to like 70K, guys. MACD is crossing up, so maybe have some more room to go. The volume is still inverting, but it's getting kind of close, guys. So when we get that like wave three scenario, right? Like if the orange line goes up to here and then does this, that's probably when that volume is gonna start going up, guys. Uh, so that's kind of what we're keeping an eye on. The net funding has dropped a lot and the open interest is coming down. This is absolutely a bullish indicator, especially while we're at massive support and we're in a upwards momentum, guys. So I am a high probability expecting another leg up right now guys based on like i said everything that i'm looking at if you look at the golden ratio multiplier we are getting rejected by this purple line uh, but i do think we're going to break above you know it, it's interesting to see whether we're going to break we're going to hold 65k as support next or if uh or if we're going to go pick up this cme futures gap right which is it's actually, you know, to get it all would be at like 58K, right? So are we going to hold that, uh, this purple line as support next, or are we just going to slice through it, right, and go down here and then go up? Uh, it's way to see. It's kind of hard to tell right now. I think it just comes down to deleveraging, guys. But right now, you know, we got to wait for this close. Uh, but right now, there is a lot of bids coming in, guys. I Like I said, I do think a lot of, Things are pointing towards more upwards trend. There's a lot of bids here for Doge, similar to these points, right? We're clearly, and this is most likely an ABC down, guys. It's The signs are all there, right? Seoul looks really bullish. Lots of bids coming in as well. This is most likely a corrective pattern as well. So just want to point out those things, guys. Um, went over metrics. Where do we leave off here? Right, let's look at this real quick. I think what I pointed out before is that there was a gap here guys right this still is like there was a massive gap here on there was no sell orders even though there's a volume profile here which we've sliced through many times right i think this is just going to hit the top of the range that's where all the sell orders are at guys we're in upwards momentum lots of bids took place it's very high probability in my opinion that we go up to the 70k area guys look at all these other exchanges are absolutely all showing the same thing guys um it's very interesting, Finex, Finex here. We went over that, right? I think that's we went over Bitcoin. Still, what it looks like, you know, Bitcoin over Nasdaq. This is an important chart. I show this every day because it's kind of important right now, right? In which we are uh, kind of getting to this massive resistance area right here. Uh, I'm gonna back test it and and kind of correlate with Bitcoin hitting 70k right and then then it'll probably drop and then this I think this move up right here should correlate with Bitcoin going into discovery uh, so what makes the most sense but right now Bitcoin over Nasdaq is getting pretty close to massive resistance it does look like it has a little bit more room up even if you look at it on the RSI here it's getting to this top trend line where the stack moving averages probably 618s as well guys just want to point that out, um, but let's see if we hit 70k short term, guys. Bitcoin dominance is going to bend over soon. Um, so this is pretty much it, guys. I, w I went over these charts. I just keep them updated, right? I, I do think alt season's coming soon. And if you look at uh, Seoul, right? Seoul, the squeeze one week is getting pretty tight, right? Similar to here. So it's getting pretty tight, guys. This is most likely a corrective pattern. There's just so much support right there that it's holding from. So it should have another run up. Where it goes minimum, I think, 2x. Probably a 3x is more likely, guys, from the price right now. So I would say, like, you know, 400 would probably be our target. It has the right look and everything. So Pepe, this looks like an inverse head and shoulders pattern to me, guys. Like, so, you know, I'm, I'm expecting Pepe to go higher. Our target right now is this big rectangle box without more information. 
which is at least a four to, I would say four to 10 X from here, which is kind of crazy, but that's kind of what it looks like. So Pepe over Doge, it's kind of interesting. It's getting close to this trend line here. So maybe Doge is about to explode up. I don't think Pepe is bearish. So that means that Doge might be really bullish here, right? So I'm looking for something like that for Pepe over Doge. Doge USD, this is just gonna accumulate, guys. I think we're literally like right here. That's where I think we are in the cycle. So this is getting close. There's just massive three, 1300 days of support lined up that we kind of front run or back tested as a wick right now. You know, similar to the past cycle that we had, right? Where we went back, retested, and then we just went up. I mean, that's exactly what you gotta kind of assume is about to happen, right? Um, I think a dollar is like very high probability, but I do think we're probably gonna go higher than that, guys. So if Doge, if Bitcoin keeps running up, we wanna pay attention to this bottom trend line here because the past times Doge BTC has always hit kind of this bottom trend line like that, right? Before it ran up like this, boom, like that. So, you know, we're keeping an eye on that. That might be a signal to just rotate everything into Doge when this thing hits this bottom trend line, guys. And most likely that should correlate with Bitcoin being well above 70K, guys, because this is on the two week time frame. So, just my update on everything, guys. I think this is a 15 minute video. I don't think we could ever go below 15 minutes. There's just too much stuff to show, even though I cut out a lot of stuff. But this is kind of what we think is going to happen right now, guys, that we have this one more leg up like that, at least, right? Kind of a massive support right now. Even if you look at the candle, it kind of looks right as well, right? You can see like kind of an ABC right there. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. It was just a quick update on Bitcoin. Thank you.